Some of my favorite places in the North Tampa Bay area and what have become the more popular places that people want to live are Wesley Chapel, Land of Lakes, Lutz, and Odessa. A couple of weeks ago, we talked about an area called Odessa. Out in Odessa, there must be, I don't know, a dozen developments going up. There are some huge communities like Starkey Ranch, Bexley. They offer multiple pools, miles of walking and hiking, uh, huge recreational facilities, tennis courts, bocce ball courts. They have restaurants and cafes right there in the development where you can get your favorite latte before you head down the road to the office. They got, some of them got on-site program developers, you know, somebody to make up a community picnic. Well, all that's really nice, but it comes at a cost. And I'll guarantee you that the developer is not the one who's going to pay for it. It's called HOA and CDD fees, and they are yours to pay. So isn't there an affordable community with maybe a pool and a couple of playgrounds for the kids? Someplace that's not going to cost four or $500 extra to live there? I mean, you've got the mortgage, the insurance, and the taxes as it is. Well, yeah, there happens to be. So let's talk about it. Hi, my name is Mike Lavoie. Welcome to our favorite YouTube channel where we talk about living in Florida, Tampa Bay area, and real estate in the Tampa Bay area. I'm a realtor with Dalton Wade Real Estate here in beautiful and sunny Tampa, Florida. When Paul and I are not golfing or riding the motorcycle, we really love and enjoy helping people with what is probably the single largest transaction they're ever going to make, buying or selling a home. Paula and I really enjoy making these videos, but we want to make sure that they're about topics that our adoring public you want to watch. If you have a suggestion about a topic related to real estate, living in Florida, living in Tampa Bay, we would like to know. There's a link down below that will let you send us a request, and yes, we do take requests. Let us know what you want to know, and we'll try to make that happen. If you've been out looking at new subdivisions, and really even some of the older subdivisions around the Tampa Bay area, I am sure you have noticed the HOA and CDD fees at some of them. If you don't know what CDD fees are, I have a video. The link is in the comment section down below. Watch it later. Those fees can get into the three, four, five hundred dollar range per month. The big question we get is why do we need them? Well, the answer is simple, but it doesn't taste good going down. Okay, so for the answer. A lot of the larger plant communities like those that I mentioned earlier have a ton of amenities for the residents. Like, I mean, like yeah, multiple resort style pools, lagoons, several tennis courts, restaurants, coffee shops. It's like a little town all in themselves, which is fine, but somebody had to pay to build it. And the upkeep on those pools and whatever, it's gonna continue. That somebody turns out to be the homeowner in the community. Go figure. So let's see. You have a monthly mortgage and let's be conservative, save $2,500. Add to that $200 for insurance, $350 for taxes, and maybe $200 for the HOA. You're basically at $3,200 a month, plus you got to pay $400 for the CDD fee. Most of the newer developments have pools, tennis courts, whatever, but you know, they cost. Do you really need three community pools? Not necessarily. Let's take a look, for instance, at the preserves. If you recall from my last video, Odessa is in the southern part of Pasco County. It starts just east of the Veterans Tollway and runs along Highway 54 for quite a ways. What used to be a very rural timber town until the timber ran out became known for its citrus groves. Now it has turned into a small city with grocery stores, coffee shops, shopping centers, movie theaters, restaurants, just everything you'd expect out of a little town. The preserve is being developed by D.R. Horton Homes. D.R. Horton is a nationally recognized home builder that's been around since 1978. They build homes all over the country and are really going to town here in Central Florida. The preserve is located just west of the Veterans Tollway right off of Highway 54. That gives it a great location. I mean, it's less than a mile to the tollway, which gets you anywhere north or south in the Bay Area, pretty short order. The West Shore Business District and one of the finest airports in the country, Tampa International is maybe 20 miles down the road. Downtown Tampa is 25 miles. The best beaches in the country are about 30 miles. So depending on the time of the day that you have to tra travel in traffic, 
it can get to be a little congested. Okay, I mean, every day during morning, afternoon rush hour. So the commute to downtown, for example, can get to be 35 to 45 minutes in the morning. On the way home, especially in the summer, that's when our rainy season is, and the rain can get a little intense around here. Your travel time could be another 10 to 15 minutes longer. You'd like to figure out who actually did the timing with the rain and, and the hours. Really, I think you're going to have the same problem in any major metropolitan area. I've been through Atlanta during the wrong time. It ain't much fun either. The preserve is going to wind up with just over a thousand homes of different styles. That's going to make it fairly small in comparison to the others near it. That smallness can work to your advantage, like fewer cars trying to get out of it in the morning. Home styles are going to include townhomes and there are 14 different single family floor plans. The smallest is pretty much a tie between the Freeport at 1,498 square feet and the Alex at 1,504 square feet. Both are single story homes with two car garage. The difference is that the Freeport is a four bedroom, two bath. The Alex is a three bedroom, two bath. Prices for both are going to start around the $390,000 to $400,000 as the base number and that's going to go up depending on what you add at the, at the design center. I have a video about not blowing a ton of money on upgrades in the design center. The link is in the comments section down below. Watch it later. This is the Alex model. Let's go take a look inside. The Alex is just over 1500 square feet. It's three bedroom, two bath with a two car garage. The kitchen is nicely laid out with the breakfast bar and it overlooks the main living area. Here is the master bedroom and bath. Bedroom number two and bedroom number three. This would be a fantastic home for a small family or a first time home buyer. The Alex is priced in the mid to upper 300s which can get higher depending on your lot selection and the design center selections. On the other end of the spectrum are the Hemingway, the Holden, and the Talbot. They're running from 2,900 square feet to about 3,560 square feet. These are two-story homes with four or five bedrooms and three or three and a half baths. I'm gonna go through the Talbot real quickly. This version of a two-story has the optional extended front porch, which I really like. There's actually room out there to sit down and watch the people go by. Just inside the front door is a flex room. This is set up as a dining room, but with the optional French doors, it could be an, easily be an office or a TV room or something like that. The Talbot has a bedroom suite downstairs for guests. The kitchen is huge at 12 by 14 feet and it overlooks the dining and the great rooms. I really didn't get a good shot of it, but there is a large pantry right back there it's a, and a dry bar right back in there that opens up into the flex room. The downstairs has a very nice open floor plan. Heading upstairs, you're going to run into a good sized bonus room measuring 17 by 22 feet. It's plenty big for a pool table, game room, or entertainment room. The laundry room is upstairs where the dirty laundry is going to be. It's kind of logical to have it up there. And of course, the other four bedrooms. The master bath is a very good sized room. That's a king sized bed with plenty of room on each side of it. The master has his and hers walk-in closets, as well as a very nicely appointed bathroom.
at just under 3,600 square feet, the Talbot is priced in the low 600s, but it can get higher again, depending on your lot selection and what you do in the design center. These are just two of the 14 models available out of the preserve. The link in the comment section below will show you what is currently available or more than likely what's currently under construction. When we were out there working on this video, all these homes were in some phase of construction with projected completion dates coming up this winter, that would be the winter of 2021. The prices I'm talking about are also going to change over time, so I'm pretty quickly, so don't be surprised if when we get out there to preview these homes, prices have risen slightly. If you'd like to schedule time to go out and take a look at what the preserve actually looks like, we'd be happy to help. You can schedule online at www.bookthelavoyteam.com. That link is down below in the comment section. Or you can call us at 813-864-6370. Have questions about real estate in the Tampa area? Use that same link to schedule a telephone call with me. You can make it a Zoom call even. I mean, everybody else is doing it. By the way, if you haven't subscribed yet, do so now. Thanks for watching. Look forward to talking to you. Now go out and make it a great day.